Yo, so someone hit me up and they said, yo, look, R. Kelly is free. What do you think? Now, what you niggas don't know is that I once met R. Kelly. Um, you know, a lot of people know that, you know, my family reside in Bedford Stuyvesant, in Brooklyn. But, you know, I was put in a group home. Um, in Dodge Ferry, then it went to um, Nyack, New York, which is in Rockland County. And in Rockland County, there's a mall called the Palisades Mall. Um, for a period of time, I was homeless. Um, hopefully he doesn't get mad at me, but me and my boy Nate, Nate's from Spring Valley, he was a singer. Um, he did a song with me called 143 Amari. Uh, we shot that in Nyack. But anyway, moving forward, we both was homeless. We were sleeping on the floor at um, my friend Russell's house. And uh, this white kid, I forgot his name. Um, probably wasn't that important. But um, we we were staying there, and um, they got us jobs. My boy Nate worked at the watch spot on the top floor by the movie theaters in the Palisades Mall. And I worked in the back um, of Journeys. Yes, I love Journeys. Um, I did stock, and I was stocking the sneakers, and the stuff would come in, and, you know, I'd bring stuff to the front, whatever, so to speak, so to speak. So, anybody that know um, me from the past, or anybody that know Rockland, Rockland is a big mall. Back in the day, um, R. Kelly had did a tour with Jay-Z. Um, I think it best of both worlds. I don't know if it was one or two, but I think it was the last one. Um, uh, R. Kelly was sprayed by the Top Top Kid, allegedly. Um, and the tour went bad, and it just got, it went bad. So, um... At the time, I was on a budget, you know what I'm saying? Because I, I would pay them, even though I was kind of homeless, but I would sleep on their floor and I would pay them like $50 a week or something like that. I was only making like $120 a week or something like that. It was really bad. It was horrible. And But I was still paying them $50 a week. So I was kind of was on like a, a little budget. So I used to have a $4 a day budget. So in the Palisades Mall, in McDonald's, you can refill your cup. So we used to keep empty cups. And so when I used to go to lunch, I bought my little shit, refill. That was my lunch, and I keep refilling, whatever, fill up on soda. So on this particular day, normal, regular shit, I go to McDonald's, the line is kind of long, pause, and um, I'm standing in the line, and I look, and I look, I go, oh shit, look at R. Kelly right here. Now, R. Kelly was with like three other people. They were older dudes, like see how my beard is? Just real regular dudes. Did they have a blicky on them? We don't know. Were they his security? Probably. What did they? They looked like they was his boys. They was just hanging. Um, R. Kelly was just sitting. R. Kelly was just sitting. Well, standing up, but he was just. He had um. What did he have? He was eating some cookies, and he had you know those milk jugs, those McDonald milk jugs. He used to. Uh, he was just there shaking the milk jug, and he was eating a cookie, and um. So once I realized it was him, I was contemplating if, you know what I'm saying, if I was going to approach him, I was like, nah, I ain't going to be no groupie. This is where I'm, I'm fighting with him. I'm like, nah, fuck that. So I keep moving up and closer and closer. And then I said, so I finally get up to the, um, the counter or whatever the case may be. And somebody's in front of me. I went and got a piece of paper and I said, fuck it. So I went up to him. I was like, yo, it's good, R. Kelly, man. I'm a big fan or whatever the case may be. Um, I want to know if you can give me an autograph for my son. My son was just born. Um, his name is Amari. And um, so I'm lying. I said, can you give me an autograph for my son? So R. Kelly goes, that's what's up. I got you. Real humble, real regular. He goes, so what's your son's name? I go, I go, um, um, Omar. I mean, Amari. Yeah, it's Amari. I was just so starstruck by R. Kelly that I, I forgot my damn son name. So he's like, how you spell it? So I said O-M-A-R-E. -E. He signed it, R. Kelly. Right? So, anywho. So, I get the autograph. And while he's doing the autograph, I was like, yo, man, don't listen to that bullshit they talking about or whatever the case may be. Or whatever. Niggas just hating on you, whatever. He said, nah, I ain't worrying about that shit or whatever the case may be. So I get the autograph. And it's my turn next in line. And I get my little food, my little dollar burger. I used to fuck with the um, cheeseburgers and the, and the, um, the dollar fries or whatever the case may be. And um, 
as I kind of like, you know, I'm procrastinating to leave the thing because it's R. Kelly. And um, I look at him and there's a girl that looked that she was sitting down eating her food. Um, did she look young? Um, at the time, maybe for me, maybe. Um, and this is no diss. There's no diss. I'm still a big R. Kelly fan, but I have to give an honest and a truthful um, story. This is what I kind of got from it. So he sat down. R. Kelly sat down, and I'm, I'm watching because, remember, I'm by the thing. I'm putting my, my, my soda. I got the, you know, I put my soda in the shit, so I'm watching. And he's like, yeah, you know who I am, right? Blah, 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 whatever. And the girls eating on food or whatever, and they're conversing. Now, most people would take this opportunity to be like, yo, I seen R. Kelly trying to talk to a young bitch at McDonald's, blah, 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 blah. But this is what I, now that I do music, this is what I got from it. I think when it comes to R. Kelly and it comes to these things as artists and as people, like I said, he's on a bigger, way bigger scale. But I'm just saying, like, when it comes to music and stuff like that, we just like to get, no we like to be, like, noticed. Anybody that hang around Lucky Me knows that, like, when I go places, when people be like, oh, that's lucky, that's lucky. I get I get excited. It's a high that we get when people talk about us, whether it's good or bad. We want people to talk about us. And so, you know, I, I spent off and I kind of looked back and I was like, damn, wow, it's R. Kelly in the spot. And um, I was like, damn, I just wish him and Jay-Z could have figured that shit out because I, I fuck with that album. And the funny thing, I used to listen to the album while I was in the thing and then I run into him. And that's the funny thing about the universe is I go from listening to the Best of Both Worlds album while working and then running into R. Kelly. I don't know if it's like a, I don't know, I can't explain it. But what I will say, um, shout out to R. Kelly. Thank you for taking time and giving my son an autograph, even though I forgot his name at the time and I, and I was starstruck or whatever. Um, I don't condone uh, pedophilia. I don't condone rapists. I don't condone any of that. But we live in a, in, in a uh, society where we have laws and things of that nature. And my thing is like this. This is the way I look at it. And, that, and this is not pertaining to R. Kelly, but just in life. If this is a gun, right? And this gun shoots, kill people. And it's two people killing people. This man get arrested. This man get arrested. He's exonerated. Now, in the hood, people probably be like, yeah, man, we know old boy, shy old boy, but he beat the case. So, I mean, even though he may have that stigma, the nigga was innocent. You know what I'm saying? He was proven innocent, whether he paid for it, whatever. If he was found guilty, we would have cooked him. He was found in he was found innocent, niggas cooked him. So, you know, that shit is like, it's weird. Um, but like I said, I'm going to end it. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of eight minutes too long. But um, shout out to the boy um r kelly and if you see us r kelly thank you for um just taking time and 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 and, and being humble you was approachable we was like this close and real regular it's it a real dope thing so when i see people talking negativity about r kelly um i always tell people when they say you're lucky me people be talking mad shit about you um i tell my son Judge people off your interactions and your encounters. Never listen to what other people say. Because people will, people will promote you, but never talk about the good. I'm quite sure R. Kelly helped mad um, people mad people's lives and stuff like that. And they don't mention that. They just go for the negative. And at the end of the day, if he's found guilty, justice is going to take its course. If he's found innocent, hopefully these people, you know what I'm saying? So I'm going to end this video. This is Hood News and Amira. And that's my, that's my R. Kelly story. I was going to wait for the book, but it's still going to be in the book. I, I'm going to give more in depth. Um, I'm going to give more in depth, you know what I'm saying, of uh, what I really, 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 really think um, about the situation um, in my book. There's some other things that I'm going to add to it. But for the most part, that's my story for R. Kelly. So shout out to R. Kelly, man. And um, free him. Well, he's free now. And shout out to that black lady that bailed him out. You know what I'm saying? Salute. 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 Subscribe. Holla at me. And this is Elmira. I'm lucky me. And I'm in your town. And I met R. Kelly. <laughs> Holla at your boy.